So, today I have another question video. <sighs> Got some dust in the air, man. God. Another question video on my phone this time. Bench press unevenness. Unevenness. So I've seemed to develop this problem. <laughs> this is like so weird. All right, so I've seemed to develop this problem when bench pressing. It's only really noticeable when I'm benching my maximum or going for a PR and it's, it's that one arm slash pec is significantly stronger than the other. So I bring the bar to my chest and push off. Good. That's what you need for bench pressing. Those are the two things you need for bench pressing. Once I'm on my fifth rep and I'm fighting to try to squeeze out the last rep, one arm slash pec, my right, is significantly better than my left. It's like I wait. It's like I can have my right arm and pec almost fully locked out, but my left is barely off my chest. <laughs> what? Sorry about like something like this. Ah, oh. our boys, PR time. Oh. My weight. My weight. Woo! I bring the bar down slowly, and I and touch it against my chest each time, so I don't think one peck is getting a head start over the other. Thoughts, form, or just for some reason my left peck is weak as hell and needs additional work. Appreciate wise... What? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Let me do that. Appearance wise, I see no difference between both arms slash pecs in terms of size. Okay, so. This sort of issue, right, um, I was warned about it when I first started, but luckily I have people around me that give me these ideas and way to do things so I don't necessarily make these mistakes. But what this guy has is he has a pec imbalance, obviously. And from the video that I showed, a little cut, obviously it's over dramatic, over, over dramatic for what it looks like, I'm assuming. Unless he does it like that, then that is an issue. It needs to be worked out. This is an issue for people that usually only do bench press. Um, they don't do dumbbells, they do pretty much only bench. That's an issue because that can easily create a, a pec imbalance in strength. Because if you think about it, you're moving the bar and the bar is one set uh, piece of equipment, is one piece of equipment. So you can theoretically push more with one pec and get it up um, and have the bar go up anyways, right? You could be pushing like this. I know you can't see it, but pushing like this and you're still getting the bar up, you're still getting the bar up, but you're pushing more with uh, this pec. <laughs> this one right here. Right there. Okay, the, you're pushing more with one pec. One easy way to fix this is with dumbbells. Dumbbells is a key way to make sure that both pecs are developed equally and dumbbells should be used in your chest day pretty much every single time. What I do in my chest videos, as maybe you've seen, if you haven't, I recommend you check them out. I think one might be in the end cutscene, in the end outro, but anyways, what I do is I start with flat bench. I start with flat and what I used to do is I used to go to incline bench press, but they got rid of the incline bench, so from doing flat I go to incline dumbbell. Always gotta incorporate the dumbbell to make sure that your pecs are, you know, equally developed. You don't have to incorporate dumbbells every single routine, every single chest day, but that's what I do. Um, and it works perfectly fine. If you don't like dumbbells, you don't have to do it every time, but it's definitely something that you should keep in mind to, uh, to do. So, anyways, quick recap is, if you only do chest, uh, only, oh, if you only do bench press, on chest days, you should change it up and do some dumbbell because most likely if you're doing bench, unless you're perfect at it, you're gonna have some muscle imbalances. And dumbbells is a quick way, not really a quick way, why did I say quick? It's not quick. It is a efficient way to make sure that your dumbbells are developing at the correct pace together. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the treadmill right there. Hope you enjoyed the concrete wall. Until next time, this has been Andy from EB Fitness. <laughs> That outro. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.
come back, bitch. <laughs>